If you smell what Edible Ed is cooking. Oh, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not really cooking, but it's baking. If you smell what Edible Ed's baking. His name is Ed, and he's got a cooking channel. It's Edible Ed, it's a cooking show. Gonna cook some good food for you. On today's, on today's episode of Edible Ed, I'm going to be baking some bread. Yes, baking bread. I'm not a huge baker because baking is a science, whereas cooking is an art. Baking, you have to have the proper recipe and equations and all that stuff. I don't have time for that. Cooking is an art where you could throw a little bit of this, throw a little bit of that, call it dinner. But today, I make the easiest, no need bread, and it's a base for pretty much anything. You can make donuts out of it, you can make pizza crust out of it. You can make croissants out of it. You could do a lot of stuff with this base recipe. And it's only a couple ingredients. Now, there's technically five ingredients, but the two that you have to have uh, the, is uh, the bread flour, bread flour, and quick rice yeast. Uh, this yeast is already activated uh, comes in a jar and uh, you put it in the fridge after you use it. It's not in the little packets. So all you have to do is throw it in the bowl. Some sugar, some salt, some water. Voila, you call it bread. Let's get started. Objects previously shown were not to scale and digitally added because Edible Ed was too lazy to grab them. In a medium sized bowl, add three cups of your bread flour, about two teaspoons of white sugar, one teaspoon of our active dry yeast for bread machines and about a teaspoon of salt and combine all that together with one and one half cup of cold water mix it together until it becomes a dough and then we're gonna put some cling film on top let it rest it's gonna proof and double it's a good idea to put it in um, a nice warm place I put mine into my microwave I don't turn it on I just leave it in there because the microwave is a nice warm place leave it for at least an hour I left mine for about six hours you can see it doubled there I'm gonna turn it out onto my work surface that's been lightly floured. And we're just gonna kinda get that tackiness off. You can see it's a little sticky there. You add just enough flour so it's not sticky. That's all we're doing here. And then I have my frying pan. I'm gonna put some hairspray on there and transfer it to that and let it proof again for at least one more hour. Put a tea towel or a lint-free towel on top of that and you're gonna see it's it's gonna fill that whole frying pan and while all that was going on I had my oven at 450 I put my baking vessel in there for about half an hour so this is really really hot as you can see there's the dough and I just turn it out into the hot baking vessel and it's gonna bake in there I'm gonna put the lid back on so it stays so soft and moist. Jiggle it around a little bit so it doesn't get stuck. You can see the air bubbles already starting to come up. I scored a little bit to get that rustic bread feel and look on top of the bread. Put it back in the oven for half an hour, about five minutes before it's done. Take the lid off if you want it to be nice and crispy and brown on top. And this is what I did here. If you like it to be really, really dark, take the lid off 10 minutes before it's done. If you don't like it dark at all, don't take the lid off. This is what it looks like at the end. And just take it out of the container, let it cool it because it's really hot. 
Let it cool for at least half an hour before you cut it. And look at this. Slice that bread, and then look at all those air pockets in there. It's time for some med vines. Time to break some bread. Oh yeah, it's nice and spongy. Got a lot of air pockets in there. Mmm. Because it tastes good. You wanna try some? Come try some bread with me. You can dance like me. Ready? Time for some Emma Bites. Mmm, yeah, Emma's got the groove too. Hey everyone, I'm dancing because I like bread. Is it good? Two thumbs up? Over here, turn around. All right, so thanks for watching. See you later. Well, that does it for me, Edible Ed, on this episode of Edible Ed. We hope to see you next week on Edible Ed. Have a good one. See you later. Bye. His name is Ed.